molarity and molality. Wow, these are two names that sound very similar. So what are they for? And what's the difference between these two things? Well, molarity and molality both measure concentration, right? Like the amount of solute that's dissolved in a certain amount of solution. So molarity and molality are both measures of concentration, but there are very important differences between them. So molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute you have divided by the liters of solution that you have. Molality, on the other hand, is also the moles of solute that you have, but it's divided by the kilograms of solvent. So molarity is about liters, the amount of space something takes up, whereas molality is about mass, how much something weighs. But there's a more subtle difference between molarity and molality. That, like always trips people up, and teachers and textbooks love to quiz you on it. Here's the thing. Molarity is about liters of solution. Okay, so the liters of solution here mean the solute and solvent combined. That's what a solution is. It's a solvent and a solute together. So the liters of solution is the solute and solvent combined, whereas in molality, we're talking about the kilograms of solvent. So this is the solvent just by itself, okay? So that is one important difference. And let me show you what that actually means and why it's important. Let's talk about making a molar and a molal solution of calcium chloride, which has a molar mass of 111.0 grams. So to make one molar solution of CaCl2, I'll take 111 grams and dissolve it in one liter of solution. And to make a one molal, solution of calcium chloride. I'll take that same 111 grams and dissolve it in one kilogram of water. But here's how I'll actually do this, and this is where the difference comes in. If I want to make a one molar solution, I'll go to the scale and I'll weigh out 111 grams of calcium chloride. I'll then take a volumetric flask like this one, and I'll take the calcium chloride and I'll empty it into here. So now I have the calcium chloride here on the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of water to it and swirl it around until the calcium chloride, which was here, dissolves in the water. Okay. Now check out this line up here, one liter. That's what the mark is. Now I'll take water and I'll add it to this flask right up until I get to the one liter mark. And now that I know I have one liter of solution, I have one molar solution. Okay, now this is different with molal. In that case, I'll still go to the scale and weigh out 111 grams, but then instead of using a flask or a beaker or anything, I'll just take a container and I'll put that on the scale and I'll weigh out one kilogram of water, and then I'll just take the calcium chloride and I'll dump it in the water and I'll mix it together. And there's my one molal solution. So the point is, here, I mix the solute and the solvent together, and then I increase the volume of both of them together until it gets to one liter. Whereas this, I do the solute separately and the solvent separately, and then once I mix them together, I don't care. So there are two important things to keep in mind about molarity and molality. One is you might know that one liter of water weighs one kilogram, okay? So that confuses people sometimes because they're like, wait, 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 but molar and molal will be very similar because one liter of water weighs one kilogram. Okay, that is true for water, but it's not true for many other solvents. So for example, if you're making a solution of oil, where oil is a solvent or alcohol is a solvent, one liter is not going to weigh one kilogram, so there will be a difference. Now here's another thing. People ask, why do we even do molality? Because usually concentration is measured in molarity. What's the point of molality? Well, here's one important thing that makes molality easier. With molar, you got to take a flask, you got to measure the volume, you got to you know, pull it up to this one liter line. Whereas when you're making a molal solution, all you need is a scale. You just weigh out the solute, you weigh out the solvent, and you mix them together. So that's a big advantage of molality over molarity.
There are some other technical differences between molar and molal solutions, and if you're interested in those, check out my next video, which is called What's the Point of Molality?